Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Shop Talk. In last week's episode, I asked you what are some of your favorite farming phrases, and I got a lot of great examples from my farming community here on Rice Farming TV. I want to share those with you and give some context to my non-farming friends here so that you can use these phrases at your workplace, whether it's at the office or at school. So we're going to learn how to talk like a farmer right now. Now before we get into these farming phrases, a message from our sponsor. This episode of Shop Talk is sponsored by my hat. Not literally my hat, but the Rice Farming TV hat in general. If you'd like to purchase this hat, please visit my website. You can follow the link at the YouTube banner right here. Now, if you don't want to purchase the hat, that's fine. In the next episode of Shop Talk, I want to give you guys the opportunity to win this hat. That's right guys, we're doing a contest and what I need from you, because you know I like illustrations, the logo's an illustration. On my website, I've got various illustrations. That header on YouTube is a big illustration, right? So I want you guys to do an illustration, whether it's reimagining my logo, do an illustration of me, the rice farmer, or a tractor around me, a rice farming TV related illustration, color pencils, paints, watercolors, graphic design on a computer. You can email me your illustration, Matthew at RiceFarmingTV.com. You can send it to me on Facebook, Twitter, any way that you can get it to me in the next couple of days, you enter the chance to win my hat. My favorite illustration wins the hat. Now, if you're not a drawer, it doesn't matter. Get your son or daughter to do it for you. It doesn't have to be the best, the cutest, the most interesting, the most creative. That's what's gonna get a hat. If you don't like drawing, ask your friend to draw. You know, have them enter the contest for you. So thank you, Rice Farming TV Hat, for sponsoring this episode. Now, let's get to our favorite farming phrases and how we can talk like a real life farmer. This leads me to the comments section. I'm gonna hit some rapid fire phrases right now. That's the badger, where? No kill like overkill, totally. Make hay when the sun shines, like, you know, work when you can. Keep her lit. Like, don't stop. Early bird gets the worm. I think everyone knows that one, right? Oh, I like this one. Never time to do it right, but always time to do it over. That's farm work. I'm happier than a puppy with two Peters. I think that's a marriage equality type phrase. Uh, you know, two, two dads, the puppy has two dads named Peter, I guess. That's getting the cart before the horse. Meaning don't get too far ahead of yourself, okay? Every chance you get a minute, hurry. Meaning, hey, time is fleeting. Let's get it done, huh? I'm busier than a one-arm paper hanger. Yeah, what is a paper hanger? A lot of you guys comment with knee high before the 4th of July, I think that's a corn thing. The corn should be knee high by the 4th of July. Also good if you have a young child at home, you know, who's growing very rapidly. Oh, Elena's very cute. Yeah, she'll be knee high by the 4th of July. You know, you can use that uh, at home. Oh, this one is great. The economy of farming right here. If I had a million dollars, I'd farm until it was all gone. You can't make money farming. Unhook the plow means get going. Let's let's go, unhook the plow. The plow would be dragging you down, so. Happy hour, guys, unhook the plow. Office space. You ain't making stuff if you ain't breaking stuff, and that's great from a domestic point of view. For all you gentlemen who are in the kitchen trying to whip together a meal and plates are crashing, you ain't making stuff if you ain't breaking stuff. You know, what's that one with the omelet? You can't make an omelet without breaking an egg, right? Think about it. Oh, okay, I like this one, this is great. It's either going fine, or it's going like it normally does, and in parentheses, which is bad. <laughs> so when things are going fine, that's the rarity. Hammer down equals get it done. He soiled his nest. Let me read what that means. Ah, oh, we just, it means he just messed things up, you know. He soiled his nest. There's nowhere in which he says he uh, pooped his pants, it just kind of like messed up, so. He soiled his nest. Um, but also a great one for the parents out there. Hey, baby's a little stinky. He soiled its nest. That dog don't hunt. So all you general managers out there, low performing employee, excuse me, board members, uh, uh, in regards to our new employee, eh, that dog don't hunt. You know, that'll go over real well. Oh, okay, here's a Jeff Foxworthy quote that Tim wrote down. Redneck's famous last words are, hey, y'all, watch this. 
I like that one, you know? We're always getting in trouble out here on the farm. Also works really well if you're in the office and you wanna yell out to your coworkers, hey, I'm gonna copy something that doesn't belong being copied in the copy machine. Famous last words at the office. Hey, y'all, watch this. Quit staring like a calf at a new gate. Hey, what's that new gate doing here? Whoa, pretty, pretty new gate. Stay focused, I suppose, huh? Stay focused, guys. So, coworkers staring out the window, hey! Stop staring out the window like a new calf looking at a new window. You're burning daylight, meaning you're wasting time. Come on, let's get it going. Speed the plow, there we go, another plow metaphor. That means hurry up. So hey, we're now at the bar, we're at happy hour. First round's on me. Okay, bro, hurry up, speed the plow. We're thirsty. You know, real life situations here. You need to move over half a hair. You just need to move quite slightly, half a hair. Jerry Amos, our ace mechanic, he likes to say, move it back a red hair. So not a half a hair, but a red hair. So that's interchangeable. Someone needs to back up a little bit, you know? Oh, okay, you're in the grocery store and someone's in the cart, they're looking at the cottage cheese, deciding which one to buy, and you can't get through because the aisle's not large enough for two carts. You could just say, hey, could you move it over half a hair? Move your cart over half a hair? Half a red hair if you were Jerry Amos, I suppose, shopping for milk. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. Well, this episode of Shop Talk went over like a lead balloon, meaning that it stunk. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I think it went really well. But that's gonna round out my favorite farming phrases. If you wanna check out a ton more, check out the comments section in last week's episode, episode three. That does it for this episode of Shop Talk. Again, sponsored by the Rice Farming TV hat. You can win it. Draw me a design, a cartoon, of me, of the hat, of the logo, anything. Get it to me, email, Facebook, Twitter. Do it fast because time's running out before the next week's episode of Shop Talk. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this little learning experience. And good luck to you out there in the real world learning how to talk like a real-life farmer. Bye-bye.